let's check out some great apps for students on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And yes, I actually have gotten a few questions lately of what OSU stands for and it does stand for Ohio State University. I am not a student there now, but I certainly used to be. When I was in college, I did not have the apps and features that students have today. So I reached out to some students that I still know, some family members, some friends that are still in college to get their take on some great apps for pretty much all of your devices. Mac, iPhone, and even the iPad to see what apps are great for students in making their lives easier. So that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Many of these apps are universal and will work across the entire ecosystem, but if not, I will call them out and mention otherwise. So whether you're taking notes on your Mac or whether you're taking notes on your iPad, hopefully these apps can help you out. So let's go ahead, dive into this, starting off with my personal favorite note-taking app, Craft. What I love about Craft so much is that it's like a new take on documents. Documents are formatted much differently than a standard pages or Word document. You can drop different sections together and they just look gorgeous. It makes writing and reading your notes a whole lot more enjoyable. Craft looks great in both dark mode and light mode. It'll sync across your devices using iCloud and has built in collaboration, which means you can work on notes, documents, and lists together with other people and see what they've done and what you've done and bring all that information together. It is a great note-taking app, super easy to organize and sort all of your stuff, search through your stuff. It's amazing. If you haven't tried Craft out, please go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. I feel like I can't do a roundup of apps and not include Adobe's Creative Cloud. Now, when I was in college, I absolutely utilized the discount that Adobe would offer and made sure as I graduated, I got the most recent version for a massive discount. Now, Adobe has switched from Creative Suite to Creative Cloud. It is all cloud-based with a monthly subscription rather than just buying this suite altogether and getting new versions every year or every other year. So Creative Cloud, instead of $60 a month, it drops down to only 20. It's like a 60 some percent savings on Creative Cloud. And you get access to all of the apps as well as 100 gigs of cloud storage. So what apps do you get? There are more than 20 across your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac, and they include all of the big ones. You have Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects, um, InDesign, you have so many different applications that are available across all the different platforms, at least most are available on different platforms. Many of them are available just on desktop or laptop, but there still are great ones on mobile like Photoshop that you can fully take advantage of with your iPhone and iPad. So there's a lot to love here with the Creative Suite and if you are in anything that involves anything creative or you just wanna be able to get Photoshop for a whole lot less money than Adobe typically charges, you should have taken advantage of this offer at least once during your time in school, high school, college, whatever it may be. Years ago, I did another version of these lists and I include iStudies and iStudies Pro. And I still think it's a great app. It still is, but it's starting to look a little dated to me. So if you like iStudies Pro, go with it, stick with it, cool. But if you want something a little newer, I recommend checking out School Assistant. This app is much more modern, has a great looking user interface, and supports a ton of recent Apple features across their platforms. So here you can see your schedule and all of your classes, you can log your tests and your assignments, and a bunch more information and brings it all into one interface. It's also been updated to really support the remote learning experience. You can sign in and see everything for your Google Classroom all in this app. So it's great for learning online as well as in person. School Assistant supports all of the devices, Mac, iPhone, iPad, and even Apple Watch. It supports widgets on iPhone and iPad, as well as on the Mac. So you can see what you've got going on for the day, any tests or assignments that are coming up, everything like that. As a general student tool to track all of your classes, assignments, tests, and everything like that, I would absolutely recommend School Assistant. 
What about staying on task and focused? Well, check out Be Focused. It's an awesome app that is super simple. So it lives in your menu bar on your Mac and helps you stay focused on a single task. Start your timer, work on it for that set period of time, then move on to something else. It'll also integrate to-do lists. So not only are you setting timers and trying to keep up with them, but you can also see a task list as well and devote your time to specific tasks. As you complete stuff and as you complete timers, you can also see your progress over periods of time. So you can actually feel like you've done something and feel more accomplished as you're checking stuff off the list and devoting the time to what you have that's important. It's a wonderfully native Mac app, supports both light and dark mode, and it's something simple that I think you should try out. Whatever degree of school you are in, it always feels like there's a lot to keep track of, like a lot. Whether it is actual school activities, like assignments and tests and things like that, or it's like extra curriculars and groups and other assignments that you need to worry about. And one of the most useful apps can be a great uh, task manager, to-do list, reminders list. And for that, I would recommend Things. Things is awesome and it's built exclusively for Apple devices from the ground up. So Things 3 is super powerful, available on all of your devices, though it can be a little pricey. It's perfect for creating lists, to-dos, reminders, and organizing projects. It sports widgets, light mode and dark mode, markdown, tags, and one of my favorite integrations is support for shortcuts, which means you can automate tasks with things. So doing stuff can trigger things to be check marked off and vice versa. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do with the shortcuts integration for those that want to get really fancy with their to-do list, reminders, and projects. So that rounds it up. There's a lot of other apps out there and as always, I want to hear what you guys think. Are there other apps that you think are must-have for students at any level of education? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or down below in the comments. And if I do a part two of this version this fall, I'll include many of the suggestions that you guys provided. Otherwise, stay tuned. Get a whole lot more videos headed your way.